Welcome back as we mount an assault on the 10 war films you voted as the greatest ever made. If I was in the army, if I was fighting in a war, I would want to be in Kelly's unit. Kelly's Heroes is sort of like the A-team of World War II. I mean, it's the Italian job in khaki. This tall tale of a motley crew of American soldiers who set out to steal a stash of Nazi gold manages to put the funny into fighting. It's a war movie, of course it's a war movie, but it's also a, it's a caper, it's a heist movie as well. It combines all these different genres of film with big stars. Clint is absolutely superb in this. At that stage, fantastic box office and the king of cool. He gives you the shorthand of what a movie star brings to a movie, and that is, you know he can't be pushed around, you know that he has confidence, you know that he's going to win. I'm going after that goal, Joe. You want it? I want it. Now, you let me tell you something, soldier. Let me make it nice and clear for you. I got a job to do, and that's to get you guys to Berlin without getting killed. We've been at the front end of this war all the way. If you whisper one word about the gold to these guys, I'm gonna have you bounce from this outfit so fast your feet won't even touch the ground. Now, do you understand that, Kelly? Yeah, yeah, I understand. You better fix up some transfer papers for me, because I'm going, with you or without you. What's nice about it is the Americans in it aren't heroic at all. They're out for themselves, they're out for gold, they're out for, they're out for trouble. It's about how war sucks and really you've got to make the best of it for yourself. Beneath this film's goofy exterior beats a heart of scorn. And nowhere better is its anti-war message hammered home than in this scene. Hey Joe, it's a snap. 16 million just waiting to be picked up. Did he forget to tell you it's behind me lines? I told him. Yeah? Did you tell him how to get through the lines and how to cover to the 30 miles to clam up? I told him. Then tell me! Listen, Joe, Kelly's got it figured pretty good. Listen, crap, this guy's gonna get you all killed! We're getting killed now, pal, for 50 bucks a month. Damn right. I think what Kelly's Heroes does is it takes a lot of the messages from a lot of the cynicism from the Vietnam War and it transports it back into the, the World War II genre, which you would not be used to. The oddball character, Donald Sutherland, is really a sort of hippie character from the late 60s, early 70s that they've, they've woven into a 1940s period film. He plays a completely out there, zoned out, crazy guy. He's just fantastic. And with this show-stealing performance, Donald Sutherland not only gives us the biggest laughs of the movie, but also provides us with an unforgettable catchphrase. Right now our problem is getting through German lines, right? Right. How? Oh, it's a railroad bridge, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I'm beautiful. We swing down onto the railroad tracks and right over the mother bridge. Over the mother bridge. Sure. Suppose the bridge ain't there. <sighs> oh, man. Don't hit me with them negative waves so early in the morning. Don't hit me with those negative waves. Don't hit me with those negative waves. It's remained a saying of mine ever since seeing it.